Hey everybody, Trinfinite X here, back with just a little bit more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Flute playing in the background. Never noticed that before. I assume it's because I beat the game. But anyway, here we are, back in Arceus. So, we have a Pokemon Sword file. Let me see if I can remember how to play this game. Yes, okay, I sort of remember. We're extremely well equipped, so yeah, we shouldn't have any real problems. Over here in the first area, I believe. There's something we can do now that we were unable to do before. Uh. Because... Oh my gosh, this is so refreshing. <laughs> because I didn't have a file, a save file for Pokemon Sword and Shield, but now that I do have one, we can go back here and do the Shaman stuff. Uh, Judex traded me a Shaman, but then he wanted it back. And he did that so I could complete the decks, however, now I can get my own. And so I would like to. That's a choice. Ugh, oops. Or I could die like a fool. So I, I forget if resetting actually fixes that or not. If I reset quick enough, does it stop the death from occurring? <laughs> does it save my bag? It looks like it does. So I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed plus, and then when I realized it was A, I pressed it, but it was too late. Probably should have been safer about that. So it looks like I quit out fast enough. My bag doesn't look like it's been affected at all. Let's try that again, but maybe with more safety. Yeah, my bag was not affected at all. I didn't lose anything. At least I don't think so. And of course, the menu buttons for this game are, of course, wildly different. Uh, from... From the other Pokemon games. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so B is dive. Let's experiment in a place that won't kill us. Plus to get off, A to get back on. Not, oh, no, plus works as well. Okay, that's weird. Why didn't it work the last time then? Okay, well. It's funny. <laughs> didn't work before. Didn't seem to anyway. Yep, we're back to play Arceus for two seconds. Or, well, maybe a little bit longer than two seconds. 
kind of depends. Hmm. Okay, so how do I get this started again? Oh, wait. There might be, like, some sort of quest back in town that I have to do for this. Might be something in town I have to do to get it. You feeling any better, better, Aurora? Whenever I have a sore throat, I just drink some orange juice. Or lots of water also works. Okay, how do I start the quest to get Shaman? character as well if you've played Pokemon Sword. Yes, how is it? Ah, new request. Aha, okay, yeah, it is. Yep, I thought it might be something like that. Yeah, there it is, I think, yeah, on the request board. Yep, a token of gratitude. There we go. Eddie of the Diamond Clan says she was saved by a mysterious Pokemon many years ago. Listen to her story and determine whether there's anything to do in the matter of follow-up. Got it. Well, I knew where I was going, I just didn't, I just went there too soon, because I forgot how this game works. Unfortunately, there is no bike. You have to hoof it everywhere. Well, at least in town, anyway. Once we get over here, we have something far better than a bike. And I'm very much looking forward to Gen 9, where they pretty much already told us, <clears throat> like, our bike flies, just like Braviary here. Aha, you must be Trin, right? Hello. I heard about you from Mai. Thank you for taking my request. I'll get right to the point. Once, when I was little, I got lost here in the Obsidian Fieldlands. I was wandering around and in tears when I stumbled across a field of beautiful flowers. That's where I met it, a Pokemon I'd never seen before. It gave me a flower, and then set off walking, as if to guide me somewhere, so I followed it. And it led me back to a place I recognized. Thanks to that Pokemon, I made it home safely. But I never got to properly thank it. I'd like to find it again and, and tell it how grateful I am. The only problem is, I haven't been able to find that field of flowers. So I'd like thank you to help me. Here, this is the only clue I've got. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the flower. That's called a Gracidia flower? It's the same flower as the one and that Pokemon gave me. Please find a field of Gracidia flowers here in Obsidian Fieldlands for me. Sure, no problem. So yeah, apparently 
the legendary that we ride around in uh, Gen 9 is going to be able to fly too. Which is fantastic. Should be fun. This seems to be the flower field Me Medi has been looking for. Gee, how'd you find it so fast? Could it be that you knew exactly where it was? <laughs> Is this the field from back then? The flowers may be withered, but I remember these surroundings exactly. This has to be the place. Excuse me, can you hear me, kind Pokemon? <laughs> yes, and that this is how we know it's a Pokemon game. A long time ago, I got lost out here and you guided me back. I don't know if I would have made it home without you, so I just came to say thank you so much. And then <laughs> the, the flowers. Looks like it heard you. Oh, and there it is, too. Thank you very much, Trin. I'll make sure to thank Mai for pointing me toward you as well. I suppose you'll be staying here to study that Pokemon. Well, good luck with your work. Take care. I mean, honestly... See, here's the thing. Ah. If we weren't like the main character, like, she should catch this Pokemon right now. Like, Medi should just catch it. How do we crouch again? Ah. I forget how it's done. Oh, snap. It can attack us. Get in there. I love the catch rate in this game. <laughs> nice. He's trying to use Stone Edge on us. Yikes. So I don't think it was the little bug that was doing that, but yeah. How do you crouch again? I forgot how you do that. Or maybe you can't crouch unless you're in here, unless you're in the bushes here. How do you do it? No, wait. Okay, now tap the stick is run. Okay, so... You can do the crouching again. Okay, there's the dive. Okay, yeah, it's B to crouch. Okay. Yeah, no. We're not, we're not gonna fight the alpha. I'm too rusty. As tempting as this game is to keep playing forever, we did the one thing we came to do. I'm happy we did it. I could warp back, but honestly, I kind of want to fly back. Just cuz. Just because. It's fun. This is a fun game. I hope I hope Gen 9 will be just as much fun. Even though I already know we're going back to the traditional RPG catching mechanics, like where everything is slow. 
and clunky by comparison to this game. At least, like, it'll have, it'll still have the open world feel to it, at least. So, there's that. Should be fun. Anyway, I've caught one Pokemon. Caught ourselves a legendary. And I believe that item was the key item we needed to change it to sky form as well, the flower. We can change it back and forth. Ah, it seems there's nothing new to add to the Pokedex this time. Yeah, because I already traded it later. <laughs> so what would you like to do now? Let's go back to the village. There wasn't much to do here. Like, I guess we could roam around and <laughs> like beat up some alphas or something. I guess. But... Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to actually do. Is there an outfit? Wait a minute, hold on. Wasn't there an outfit or something? A special parcel has arrived with your name on it. Yes, there we go, okay. Yeah, there we go, okay. What a precious gift. Let's take good care of such fine attire. And then do I have to like, say that I finished the quest, or or is that already done? Yeah, I think that's probably already done. Yeah, this is this is a fantastic half a game. Like, this... It really is the way Pokemon always should have been. It's too bad, it's just it's not a complete game. Yeah. If only it had other towns and a proper and proper gym battles and if it was like if it's if it was like like they're planning to do with gen gen 9 where there's like you can do the gyms in any order and stuff and it was fully open world like it's so close this is so close to the best pokemon game that I've ever played it's just too bad it's unfinished <laughs> but at least I can now be happy that I have Shaman. I have actually finished all the content there is to do besides random side quests. Like, I think there's still a few random side quests to do here and there, but... There's no need to worry about all that. Where did it put Shaman? Because, like, it deserves to be over here with the rest of the legendaries. Oh, come on, where'd you... Where'd you stow it away? Where'd you hide it? You hate Zaldin? Or... Zel Zaldin? Who is that, Aurora? We talking uh, Fire Emblem or Kingdom Hearts? I mean, Zaldin sounds like a Kingdom Hearts name, but it could also be Fire Emblem, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Gen 9 might be, like, this might be just the proof of concept for Gen 9. But my only real issue is that we already know they're going back to the, to the standard stiff battle formula, though. That's the one thing I don't like. There it is.
Yeah, that's my only complaint, is that we're going back to super stiff battle formula. Nice. Trying to smack us with earth power earlier. Pastures are kind of fun, too, because they have these random Pokemon. There's my Leafeon right there. Curled up, taking a nap. <laughs> There's my Alpha Bidoof just hanging out. Or, sorry, Bee Barrel just hanging out. Just pulling random Pokemon from the list. I almost want to see what it pulls next. Bee barrel again, yeah. Just pulls a bunch of random stuff. There's an Avalug over there. Yeah, like they put some, like they put some effort into this game. Like they made us an animation for this thing to be sleeping. Like every single one of these Pokemon has like a sleeping animation. And like you know, a walk cycle, a run cycle. Like there's a bunch of work. There's a lot of work they put into this game. Like, yeah, okay, so maybe graphically it's not the best, but I think it's more than good enough. Like, it's not quite... It's not quite as good as Gen 8's, you know, like, Pokemon Swords level of graphics, but it's... I think it's decent enough. Some people say it looks like a Wii game, and I'm like, yeah, no... No, this is definitely better than the Wii. Like, maybe not quite as good as Sword, right? But, like, still... It's still decent. It's good enough. Alright. Well... I bet we're the only people with a... We're probably the only people with a refrigerator. With like a refrigerator and a microwave and a washing machine. And we and if, as long as we have Rotoms to run it, we have all these modern appliances. <laughs> Let's check out what the outfit looks like, at least. Even though I'm pretty set on the outfit I have, because I like it. Uh, where is it at? Oh, it's a... Shaman, there we go. Ah, yeah. Green and white mixed with pink. Yeah, it's Shaman. It's Shaman's colors. Unsurprisingly, yeah. And then like the shorts. Yeah, I prefer my look instead, though. All right. I think that'll do. flower in our inventory? Yeah, it is. Completes the row. 
on our inventory. Most excellent. Got a few random items in here, but that's okay. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and save here. And call it a day. Then we're going to switch to BDSP. Pike, are you still there? You ready for trades? I hope so. Perfect. So I'm going to go to break. And then when I come back, we will wrap up. We will wrap up BDSP. Once and for all. No spin. Yeah, no spin like in... Uh, yeah, we don't get to pose in this game like we do in Sword, but that's okay. Alright, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.